Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another My Hero Academia review. If you're new here to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the Light Bulb Army. So let's get right into this one. Now, I really like the ending of the chapter because Midoriya was a little bit too excited. He's like, yes, he's like, here we go, here we go. Like, that's Midoriya thinking. I, I'm like, okay, I know he hasn't been getting any sleep. He has just been patrolling countless times, trying to get one of the villains that escaped from Tartarus that has a connection to All for One, you know, because he's been bait this whole time. I mean, the Rhea has been bait. They've been using him as bait. He knows he has been bait. That's why he hasn't been too close to anybody, right? But then Horikoshi over here teases us with the potential death of All Might as this villain from Tartarus throws a grenade where all might is not driving his car i do not think all might is that at all because his car looks maxed out looks like a batmobile batmobile so i believe it probably could take on bullets and small scale explosions like the grenade could produce so i think all might is completely fine so yeah yeah in my mind all might is fine right but it, it was just interesting seeing how me the re Era, Midoriya reacted to the whole thing and how excited he was and another thing I like is wow the, the sign of the villain we've seen, we've seen this female villain before well yeah uh, oh well, I'm not gonna say female villain we've seen them before right because you never know uh, in the story how they identify us right and they have what looks like to be a quirk it does not look like it's a support item it looks like a quirk that turns i guess their body parts into weaponry which is very interesting but then on the same roof where she's at there's the guy that was with her i forgot i don't even know if we've seen his quirk and he's just there it's like with the head down and stuff but she made like a sniper and it looks really cool and i was like looking back and forth at the panel because the thing that she threw at me, the Rhea's phone was like a dagger, which it was like, it looks like a dagger, right? So maybe out of her body, she can create, not like Momo, but she can only create weapons. So she could create stuff, she could manifest stuff like, like Momo to that extent. That's my speculation. And it just looks cool. I like her design. Well, I like their design a lot with the grenades the weaponry it, it just looks really awesome at first i got scared for a bit i thought it was, i thought it was going to be stain but no it, it was not stain at all it was this person and midoriya with his calculated mind he's just like a hired gun sent by all for one so right away he he knew he knew what was up right now the next thing i want to talk about is the people sentiment in japan they still blame the heroes they're like you see all the bodies that were burned by dabi this is on you every time we see you we see the failure and all this and it sucks but you gotta realize from the people's side they're powerless a lot of these people are taking arms they're using support items like we saw in this chapter the nail gun because like oh it's your fault we got to take up arms but like i said before they're not trained to take up arms so let's say they have the guy with the nail gun i hit a villain with that he could kill him because there's no restraint, there's no training or anything like that. Which to some people, they're like, oh, it's fine, they're a villain, they deserve it. But, you know, what gives them the right to do that to a villain, right? What, what to take down a villain, even if the villain is like, does heinous things. Now, if the villain's name is all for one, then <laughs> all means this dude over uh, generations. Then the other thing I wanted to talk about is all for one why over all these generations they said in this chapter why over all these generations he couldn't get one for all like didn't he have the rage but every time we see him all for one he's always smiling so maybe it's gonna sound weird maybe all for one does not have rage within his heart maybe he just has peace even doing heinous things maybe he found peace doing that which is very interesting right and that is why all for one can never attain one for all because he didn't have the strong emotional trigger 
of rage to override all the other successors of the quirk so that's I really like that whole thing and that's why Hawks is such a great character when he thinks about stuff like that. So overall this was a great chapter. I really like dialogue heavy field chapters like that because you know we get a lot more than oh there's just a fight here and then that's it. So overall I'll give this chapter an 8 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this one and before I leave I will not be doing any reviews next week so yeah, do not expect any of my hero reviews for next week. Sorry about that.